Greetings all, it is I, Sam Farron, and welcome back to Let's Translate Yeast 10 Nordics. I remembered uh, that I forgot to do this last episode. Uh, oh, he's like, uh, I don't... Like, could it be that the, the one who left behind those green runestones, could it be? Yeah, we've actually uh, got quite a lot of stuff to do on the ship, including this. Uh, a lot of stuff opened up for some reason. Uh, it feels like uh, you managed to investigate all the runestones, let me thank you. Ancient uh, break potion. Okay, so all of this stuff we're getting is just ways of fusing break potions or like stat increasing, permanent stat increasing items. Uh, this is something I obtained during my investigations. It's very important or valuable. Uh, please make use of it. I think uh, like the the thing will prefer it that way too. Oh wait, we got armor too. Oh hello. Oh yeah, I didn't equip the other one too. I figured that uh, if we read all the, or deciphered all the runestones in Obelia Goth, I'd be able to, like, see something new. But this, uh, easily overpassed my expectations. Yes, uh, with this, one day, eventually. So now, let's uh, head to the end together. Uh, the answer will lie at the end of the journey. Completed it! And then I'm guessing Dogie's one will complete once we're at 100%. I'm guessing that's what it's me measuring, I don't think it did, but... Why can I not speak today? So we got uh, two things of armor. We got this. Or even raises max HP. Hell yeah. Actually, I think all of them do that. Yeah, this this will work for at all. All right, and now let's uh, get started. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, this must be it. At all, Kaja, can you uh, let me some time? What's wrong? Uh, you're acting like a uh, weird. Uh, yeah, the truth is. Uh, Chris is pulling a strange expression, so Adol, like, looked at Kaja. I thought that it was always natural that I'd inherit the, the guild, or the, like, the company. Ever since I, rem I can remember, that's, uh, how I've been raised, after all. But after working on the sand dress every day, uh, like this, I finally realized that I want to work with boats. I thought that, uh, it was just a childish dream, so I'd always, uh, like, sealed it away. I'm not going to lie to myself anymore there. Ah, you finally uh, admitted it, did ya? The problem is, uh, Romes, or... Uh, so the, the thing you wanted to talk about with us was that... Yes, given how that man is, I can't just, uh, like, do this without a plan. Like, tell him without a plan. My god, Chris, you're more bold than, uh, you look. I think you'd, uh, want us to let you participate in an abordage. A lot of the NOS fleet ships are designed to do, like, one thing in particular. And, uh, they do it extremely well. It's, like, very, uh, groundbreaking technology. If we could, uh, remake such specialized boats for human usage, then... Then Romus would, uh, like, have to admit that you're serious about this. And not just that, we can also make use of this, uh, knowledge on the Sandras. And there's a chance that the, the carpent company could branch out into, like, uh, building boats, you never know. It's definitely not a, like, a bad deal for Romax, or my dad. But wow, you, uh, have really thought about this, huh? Well, try until you succeed is, uh, the motto of the Carpent Company. Uh, I see, uh, Nos Fleet ships ahead. Once we get on that ship, you're to stay, uh, very close to us, okay? Uh, you'll be dead if you, uh, get split up from us. Yeah, I know. Alright, let's go, brother. Oh, like, good job. I thought I was gonna die. But can you really, uh, like, make a ship plan uh, out of just that? Like, there wasn't even time for you to make notes. <laughs> well, not to brag, uh, but I have a pretty good memory when uh, it comes to ships. I've burned the structure and, uh, like, measurements of it into my uh, brain. Now I need to finish up this plan before I forget them. Okay. And thus, Chris uh, neglected sleep and uh, eating to complete this new, like, uh, ship plan. And he ended up showing it to Romas, who'd come to do business on the Sandras. I think you'd uh, make ship plans based on a Grigar ship, eh? I'm not an expert in this, but I do believe that to be quite, uh, uh, like, an innovative, uh, like, idea you have there. Uh, Dad, so then... 
To think that my Chris had this much talent. I couldn't bear to let that talent go to waste. Yeah, but... I always thought that you'd be the one to inherit my company. But I guess those beliefs of mine robbed you of your chance to grow. Maybe I should have listened to your way of thinking more. Dad. No, I should have spoken to you about this sooner too. No, uh, it's, it's not too late now. There's a chance that this could be uh, of even greater benefit to the company than you. Uh, just uh, like inheriting it from me. Chris, right now you are no longer my son. You are an equal to me. I'll be counting on uh, doing dealings with you in the future as a new up and coming uh, like, uh, like shipwright. A dad. Adversity strengthens foundations, as they say. In the end, laying your feelings uh, out on the table like that is very important. And, uh... Oh, we got it with both of them? We got Max Bond with both of them. Uh, thanks to you guys giving me the push I needed, I won't lie to myself anymore. Let's both head towards our dreams. Uh, did we also get it with Rom Romus? Romus, his dad? Uh, where is it? So yeah, Max with her. Wait, we don't have Max with this guy? I thought we did, because we completed his thing. Wait, when did we max out, uh, Lemon's one? I don't remember that. Oh, I guess because we saved all the, the guys. Oh yeah, so we did max out this guy. There's, uh, less than I thought. Left. Yeah, we haven't, like, had anything to do with this guy. Right, well, we're not done yet. Hold on, does, does he get any new, uh... I mean, this is how he gets stuff. I want to see if I can get up to 10,000 by the end of the game. Just to, uh... I don't, I don't know if it actually does affect the ending or not, but... I might as well. Let's, uh... Do Ashley's one next. Hey, you guys, there's something I want to show you. So, will you come with me? Uh, Ashley pulled out a very uh, weathered, like, handbook. This is, uh, it's quite, like, uh, like weathered. Oh, there's a lot of sketches of, uh, sea creatures, huh? Oh, wow. Uh, is there, does stuff like this really exist? Oh, uh, I want to see it too, or, uh... Like, uh, Kaja, come on, uh, <laughs> let me see too. I know, I know, I'll, I'll let you see it too. So what is this, uh, book? Uh, did you find it somewhere? Yeah, it's, uh, what? Yes, I found it on, uh, Scenic Islands Beach. I know the penmanship and, uh, the way the drawings are done. There's no doubt this is my dad's. But wait a sec, what does this mean then? Didn't your dad... Yes, three years ago, he went on an expedition and found many unknown, uh, like, sea creatures. And because he announced his findings, everyone called him a liar. But Chris said that there were so many, uh, like, uh, animals on, uh, Scenic Island that we'd never seen before. So you guys, if there's something you know, I want you to tell me. Oh yeah, didn't Leela say that, uh, like, animals and plants that existed before the Great Disaster were being carried on that ark? And if uh, the destination of that arc was Scenic Island, then so the sketches in here are of uh, like animals that existed before the Great Disaster. Or Ashley's dad also went to Scenic Island? No, I doubt it. Like, we went through a lot of stuff just to see it. I can't imagine he'd uh, found that island all by himself. But there's a chance that he visited it unconsciously, just like you did at all. Wait a sec, so... Why was that uh, book on the island? This is just my uh, like my speculation, but after your dad died, this uh, sketchbook somehow managed to wash up on the island, almost as if it possessed its master's uh, will. I think the same. Or uh, like, I mean, there is that thing that happened with Ilna, isn't there? Yeah. So I don't think it's impossible. <laughs> but that's. Everything. I, I said I was going to discard everything. My memories of Dad, and uh, the real me too. Ashley, you... 
The reason I wanted to see sea creatures myself wasn't because of my dad. They're the reason my life got messed up. I wanted to, like, see how pathetic they were and laugh at them. But looking at the ocean with all of you guys, I started to forget about all of that. I started to want to see uh, more of those like uh, sea creatures. I see. So I won't lie anymore. I'm glad that guy was my dad. These feelings are no one else's but mine. It took me a while to get here, but I feel like I finally uh, understand it. Well, I think uh, everyone kind of goes through a lot to realize stuff like that. I always thought you were just a stuck-up brat that uh, like no one wanted to be around, but... Right now, Ashley, you're <laughs> very cute. Huh? Uh, oh, thanks. Kaja at all. Ah, uh, this is all uh, thanks to you guys. Let's uh, go looking for more sea creatures, or you're welcome. Yeah. We got Max Bond with Ashley. I'll keep doing my best from now on too. Not for my dad, but for myself. So thanks, you two. Oh. Uh, the C is my friend. That's the name of his uh, new girl. Oh, he? I don't know. Is it? Were they implying? They never said anything in the text. Like, Ashley, you were a girl. It was just he has very long hair. And he still, he still used the male pronoun. First person pronoun. He kept on using Boku. Like, through all of that. So, I don't know. I don't know what they were really trying to convey with that. Like, I don't, does he just have long hair? But, like, he seemed to be happy when Kaja called him cute. Okay, so this is where this guy is. Wait, hold on. There's, there's a guy down... Uh, I think there's only one down here. I think it's probably Mirabelle. So, I'll go do this first, I reckon. I really like Ashley, though. Like, honestly, even though there are a lot of them, his quests were pretty fun. Let's talk to you, yeah. All right, I've decided. Oh, you're, uh, <laughs> you're awfully energetic, or did something happen? Oh, uh, you two. Well, it's uh, it's going to depend on what happens now, but uh, what are you talking about? I mean, you know Glenn and the others, like, they've grown so much through all of this, right? So uh, I can't be the only one who's uh, still stuck in her, 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 her own ways. Uh, you really think that way? Yeah, well... But uh, this can wait until next time we're in the Karnak area, but uh, there's something I want you guys to uh, like come with me for. I'd like you to give me some of your courage. What do you mean? After that, uh, there was a chance for the Sandras to go back to Karnak, which was uh, being rebuilt. Adol and Kaja... I uh, were called out to the, the port, like the harbor area, by Mirabelle. <laughs> so wait, you wanted us to just come fish with you? <laughs> Sorry for being so selfish, but I wanted you guys to kind of uh, be here to watch. Or like, to be witness. Uh, witnesses for what? Or uh, The doctor looks like really serious. Well, this is the first time that Mirabelle hasn't stopped me from fishing and has actually uh, invited me to come with her. So I don't know what kind of ill omen this is. Well, it might not mean much to you, Dad, but... For me, it's something very important, so... I want you to tell me now. Wait, do you mean, uh... You want me to teach you fishing? No? <laughs> what happened when, uh... You moved to that clinic in the city and, uh, Mom died? Ever since then, you stopped smiling, Dad. I always wanted to see your smile again. That's why I helped out at the infirmary so much, but... If there's a reason, then I won't tell you to, like, force a smile. But, can you at least tell me why? I was always scared of, uh, asking up until now, so I... Mirabelle, uh, I always knew that I had to tell you at some point. When I was, uh, out fishing before dinner, your mum came to greet me. Even now, I feel like when I'm fishing, she might just come and uh, pick me up like she used to. Huh? When we moved to the city, we were both uh, very busy. There were plenty of days where we had to get you a babysitter, because both of us were working. And especially on that one cloudy day, there were so many uh, injured and ill people. I never even noticed that uh, your mother was uh, ill herself. And I was out from morning, uh, going on uh, like house visits. And then... 
Your mother, who was left on her own, she collapsed, and she was taken to another, like a different infirmary. However, the doctor who ran that clinic seemed to think of me as a business rival. It seems he denied that there was anything wrong with her. And then uh, her illness got worse and she... That's terrible. Uh, so wait, is the reason you never turn away any patients? Because yes, any patient I see could have been uh, your mother on that day. No matter who they are, they're precious to somebody. When I think about that, I just have to treat them. Mirabelle, you're a kind child. If I told you this, I thought you'd uh, like always want to help out with the, the infirmary. Uh, well, uh, I was just thinking that, so I can't deny it, but I want you to stop uh, like worrying about me so much and find your own happiness. So that's why. Dad! No matter who that person is, they're like, precious to someone. That way of thinking is admirable, but have you not stopped to realize? What? But you're someone's precious person, too. Hmm? I mean, we're, there's just the two of us in this family now, right? I'm not a child anymore, so... I really wish you'd, uh, like, rely on me sometimes, too. I mean, I might not be as, uh, capable as Mum was, but... But that's... When you say it like that, I really have a... Like, I can't argue back. Dad. And besides, I do want to find my own happiness when the time comes. But right now, I want to help out with the sand dress and you, Dad. I see, uh, sorry. Oh, I wish I'd uh, said this sooner. Uh, I guess there's times when you can't make up your mind too, huh, Mirabelle? Well, Princess, I might not look it, but I'm uh, rather shy. I don't want to hurt people, and I don't want to be hurt myself. But after learning about your upbringing, Princess, I realized I had to, like, get some courage of my own. Really? Yes, really. And Adol, uh, thanks for making time for me, like, even with all that's going on. Now then, let's uh, head over to where we're meant to be next. And we got Max with Mirabelle and Joel. Uh, thanks, you two. You're always uh, supporting all of us, so let's do our best together. Uh, for all of our sakes. I think that's three more now. Uh, whoops. Oh, one thing, I, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but uh, the rest of the uh, of Scenic Island unlocked, and I was allowed to go and get all the stuff I missed, which was only actually one treasure, I think. Aside from the one I got at the start on the beach. But yeah, so I was only missing one. At least according to the map. Oh wait, we've also got this guy. Oh, now that I come to mention it, I've uh, got a hands on some, uh, like, some nice herb tea. Adol, Kaja, why don't we, uh, have a sip? Yeah, this is, uh, my first time drinking it, but it's pretty good. Uh, I'm glad. I got some of it, uh, brought in from my hometown, as I wanted to thank you for cooperating with me. Yeah, we found so many runestones, or... Uh, we, like, we learned a lot through this, too. Yeah, uh, like there were so many things that even I, as a Nordic, didn't know about. The truth about the Blood Ocean Roller, and uh, the like paradise that uh, of a country that used to exist here, the Norgard Duchy. The thoughts of all the people who resisted its destruction, and the roots of uh, Karnak too. Thanks to learning this, I'm sure of it now. That the people of Greer and the Nordics can live peacefully together. I mean, I thought it was nothing but a pipe dream at first, but, I mean, there's already, uh, like, uh, examples of it happening that we know about now. So, I think I'll believe in you too. It'll be pretty hard to actually accomplish it, though. <laughs> well, just you saying that is a great step forward. All that's left is to pursue this path. I'll use the rest of my life to do it. I feel a quiet but intense determination coming from him, or... Uh, like, why are you going so far, priest? Mr. Priest, or father? Oh, uh, my apologies. Uh, I, uh... It seems that I, uh, got a bit excited there. <laughs> Seriously, who are you? Like, you're really good with a sword, but you don't seem like just a regular old priest. Why are you, uh... Like, why do you go so far for this? 
I suppose it would be to honor their souls. Their souls? My teacher and friends and students. All the people I loved who ascended to heaven on that day. <laughs> I suppose I can tell you. It's uh, already uh, been 30 years since it happened. In the monastery that I was raised, uh, some Nordics attacked. Yeah. Everyone I loved lost their lives. However, among them, there was one from the north. In other words, a Nordic. But that happened, or why did those Nordics do that? People who escaped from the cold wave, or people who were chased out of their homeland for other reasons. At the monastery, we would have accepted like, all of those people equally. It's not as if we didn't have our disagreements, but I was raised with uh, all of them. I see, so that's how you knew so much about the Nordics. Even if our culture is different, uh, we, like, as fellow humans, we were able to understand one another. And in death, we truly are all equal. I suppose I just didn't want to give up. I didn't want to accept that that time was just an illusion. I'm sorry, I probably shouldn't have said that. But that's why you're looking for peace so hard, or... I think I finally understand you now, uh, Father. I'm sorry for calling you overly naive back then. <laughs> Please don't uh, worry. And by the way, after that, I became an evangelist and visited many different countries. I learned of many different uh, legends and traditions in like, all these different lands. Oh, uh, apologies, there was a fly. Uh, see, you mustn't uh, <laughs> wander in here again like that, okay? <laughs> Did you see that? He managed to pinch just the fly's wings uh, with his fingers. This guy really is incredible. Uh, I'm I'm more interested in this like legends and stuff he talked about. Hey, come on! If we start asking about that, we'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> it seems the tea has gotten uh, chilly. Uh, I'll uh, pour some more, shall I? After that, uh, they enjoyed their second. Herb tea, and uh, enjoy listening to the priest talk. <laughs> and by the way, it seems that uh, when he was staying in Hispani, he learned his swordman his swordsmanship from a uh, like a strong swordsman there. <laughs> so that's that mystery solved, I guess. Yeah, Ah, that truly was a fun time, and. Uh, with people like you around. <laughs> uh, let's uh, give it our all going forward. Oh, I really like that. This guy's cool. And then we've got... Uh, I'm guessing this just rose up here. My god, I kind of wish they didn't give it like all to us at once. Whoa, what the hell? Uh, still shining. <laughs> oh wait, he's... Uh, you, you're giving us this? Oh my god, okay. Those sell for a lot, so even if I don't use them, uh, I can definitely get some funds from them. I feel like I just got something really rare, or... Just, uh, who are you? Beep. Wait, are you trying to change the subject on us? Well, uh, I guess there was uh, an island like that in the middle of the rainbow. If you're from there too, then uh, I guess it's not that mysterious. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, Adol and Kaja. What's wrong, Rosa? You, you look kind of glum. Uh, really? Are you worried about Feria, or... Uh, are you worried about what's going to happen? Uh, um... I heard that you fought with my sister at the, uh, the Seabed Temple. I should have been prepared for this when, uh... Like, us and the Balta Navy started fighting, but... Uh, Rosa, you don't have to stick with us if you don't want to, you know? Oh, no, it's not that. I still want to, like, help you guys, of course. Even now, I think it's a good thing I decided to stay on the San Andreas. So then, what are you... Uh, no, it's just that I'm wondering what my sister's thinking right now. Thinking about it now, I feel like I don't really know my sister as well as I thought I did. You really must, uh, like Faria. When she's with the Balta Navy, she's, uh, very, like, thoughtful. And then just when you least expect it, she, uh, comes out with the most, uh, incredible, like, bold strategies. She's kind of hard to read, or... Although it feels like even though I've spent a lot of time with her, I, I don't really know that much about her either. Really. 
Uh, there's a Bolton Navy uh, flagship up ahead. Or no. Uh, I think that's a ship from the, the 3rd Division. Good timing. Wait, the 3rd Division? That's that's a Farrier's Division. Don't tell me they've come to attack us. Uh, there's uh, enemy ships behind us too. Please be careful. I think they're going to launch an abortage. Everyone get in battle position. Uh, on the Sandras' deck, Nordics uh, like jumped onto it, kind of thing. No one uh, on the Sandras knew what to do. It was such a like a sudden attack. But with Adol and Kaja at the center, they managed to like regroup and uh, push the enemy back. And then... We even had the surprise attack on you, but you managed to turn it around. Uh, Ferry, even if you fight us again, it's, you're not going to win. I told you I'm going to force the roller within me in submission. And uh, until then, I can't lose to anyone. Even if it's you or Gunnar, or even Grimson. <laughs> uh, Sis, Rosa. Uh, everyone, we're retreating. Uh, uh, to think that a Ferriot ship would, uh, like, attack us directly like that. I mean, she is a higher up in the Baltic Navy, so maybe she, I guess we're like her enemy is. Yeah. No, uh, I don't think so. At all. Uh, look at your, uh, like, uh, your chest. What's that? I don't realize that there was, a uh, bit of paper tucked in between his clothes on his chest. All of a sudden, after taking it out and looking at it, he found out that it was a message, a letter from Faria. Well, when did she have time to do that? I guess uh, during that battle, uh, my goodness, she is, uh, you can't underestimate her. Uh, what, what is it? What is written there? Uh, to Rosarind and everyone on the Sandras, the chief may want to kill Rolo to avenge Ilna. But not just that, Rolo is a threat to everyone living in this uh, world. I'm sorry, Princess, but I also believe that, uh, like, we should kill you. Even if you did manage to win once, as part of the Twin Wars, I can't afford to back down. But on the other hand, there's a part of me that's hoping that you, Princess, and Adol can solve this on your own. I can't be with you right now, but I believe that one, the day will come when we can all uh, laugh together again. From Feria. Ah, uh, sis. Wait, don't tell me the reason she attacked was to give us that letter? My god, that's quite a bold girl. That girl was always a tomboy ever since she was a kid. She was just rushed headlong into things. <laughs> but right now, I think she's grown into, uh, like a lovely girl with lots of love for our family. Yeah, I could feel her resolve and her, like, feelings towards us through that letter. Oh, that's right. Feria is another name for the flower called, uh, the Sankayo. <laughs> that probably means something, but I can't find anything. I really hope it's not the name of a real flower, because that would mean that me pronouncing it Feria instead of Felia or whatever would uh, be silly. And in flower language, it means uh, like to be free. But really? Uh, I, I guess that really suits her. <laughs> be free, huh? Hey, Dad. Is there a, a word for rose, which is what my name's based off in flower language too? Oh, of course. It means graceful or uh, like... Uh, adorable, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, uh, it's kind of embarrassing when you say it like that. But uh, I guess I'll have to live up to my name then. Yeah, flower language, huh? So that's uh, why she called that. Hey Chris, you, what are you thinking about? Uh, no, it's just that uh, depending on the uh, the color of the rose, the flower language uh, or like the flower word is different. The one Rune just uh, said was for pink roses. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what about Black Rose, then? Uh, I think it means, uh, like, binding and, uh, like, a jealousy. <laughs> ah, I see. Uh, yeah, that definitely suits her more. <laughs> uh, hey, did you hear that just now? Uh, doesn't the name Rosarin suit me perfectly? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it does. Yeah, it's, uh, perfect for you. <laughs> My god, it must be hard for Feria, too. <laughs> Uh, we got it with Rosarind, plural, or not plural, but like, it didn't say exactly who, so I... Oh. Thanks to you guys, uh, I think I can finally accept my sister's feelings. 
That's why I'll also <laughs> uh, watch over me, okay? Uh, who did we get for that? Because, like, there's obviously her mom as well, but her mom didn't show up. Let me see here. Did we max it out with a uh, farrier too? Yeah, that's max with these two. And uh, there she is. Yeah, so we got max with her too. So we are only missing uh, these two now. And, well, well, this guy, both his mom and his dad, we haven't got either. Yeah. Let's just start it now. God, this is going to be a long video. I'm sorry, guys. I, I thought we were going to be able to go on to the next dungeon, but I don't think we're going to have time. I'm just going to dedicate this video to finishing up these. I kind of wish they hadn't given them all to us at this time. I wish they'd like spread it out a bit more, but whatever. Hey, Adelon Kaja. We're nearly at the end of our journey. At least that's the feeling I get. And, uh, like, who knows what's waiting for us at the end. But, uh, Leif, I'm surprised you stuck with us this long. Hey, don't say that, uh, I'm, like, uh, in debt to you guys, you know? I asked you this before, but are you really gonna go back to being a mercenary? Hmm, about that. Ah, uh, Leif, so this is where you were. Flair rushed over and he was, like, uh, breathing heavily. Uh, Dr. Flair? <laughs> what's wrong, uh... You're awfully hurried. And just a mi moment ago, I discovered a new uh, use for the Spectrum Grass. There's a chance it could work to cure Dawson's uh, dementia. Huh? Well, not dementia. I think the right word was uh, like co cognitive disturbance. After that, uh, when the Sandras uh, landed in Karnak, Adol and the others went to the infirm, or well, like the remains of the infirmary where. Uh, Momino is looking like, uh, treating to Dawson. Mm. Oh, this should do it. Right now he's sleeping because of the painkiller. Uh, but I don't know what'll happen when he wakes up. But Dr. Flair, will he really be okay? I don't know if it'll, uh, completely cure him. But at the very least, it should help with his symptoms, or at least, like, stop it from, uh, progressing anymore. Yeah, to think that, uh, the Spectrum Grass could do all that. Ugh. Seems he's awake. Uh, like, honey. Uh, who the hell are you? Uh, where's my booze? Get me booze! Oh, I want something strong since I just woke up. Uh, I, another failure. It's a shame, but uh, I guess it is. Uh, Adol Kaja! Uh, Glenn, weren't you going on uh, to check on, like, the road with Dogi? Yeah, well, on the road, some uh, remnants of the Grigar appeared. Uh, Glenn, take us there, or Kaja, let's go. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's, like, hurry over to the, the, the road. The highway. Dogi's stopping them from coming any further, but there's some strong guys, and, uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, Leif, you come and help too. Understood. Uh, that's it, I guess. Oh, thank God Adol and Kaja were here to deal with that. My God, so there were still some of these guys, like, wandering around here? I think, uh, this way we should probably, uh, like, look around the whole, uh, of the road. Uh, Leif, behind you! Damn it, I won't be in time! Oh, damn it! Oh, I fucked up. I guess I really lost my skills. Yeah. What? A Dawson? Oh, why? Why'd you do that? It's my job to protect the citizens. Yeah. But, hey, you okay? I heard that my son, that Leif was around here. I want you to tell him. I'm sorry for not being able to teach you the sword. And sorry for what happened to Mark. If only I was a bit more... Ah. Hey. Hey, get a hold of yourself. It's me, I'm Leif. Hey, open your eyes. Uh, you're gonna teach me swordplay, right? Hey, Dad! Leif, stop it, he's already dead. Ah. Ah! I'm not gonna scream. 
Sorry, I'm, I'm not a very good voice actor right now. I wish this kind of thing was uh, voice acted by the... Whatever. I see, so your medicine did work, Dr. Flair. Yes, it was just a while before it showed its uh, effects. So he uh, got back his sanity. But he didn't even realize that Leif, who'd grown up so much, was his son. You shouldn't blame yourself or, like, I'm sorry. Uh, I wasn't gonna blame myself. After all, it doesn't change that that guy was a piece of shit. Just because of what happened now, I don't plan on forgiving him. Leif. But Dr. Flair, you said this, didn't you? That you can't cut ties with your family. That you can't sever the bond between them. Dad, you fool! We got Max Bond with them, but... His dad's dead, bro! I don't know what uh, was right. Was the right thing to do, but with this, I think I can move forward. I think it was thanks to you guys being here at all. Oh, we got a new uh, tort. Wow, that, that's weird. Uh, we've got one more, and it's with everyone's favorite, Glenn. Hold on, let me just see. Is he still? Does he still show up on the? Yeah, he's, he's dead there. Yeah. yeah. It just says at the bottom there, like, he managed to re regain himself thanks to uh, the, the uh, like, or like his treatment. Uh, he managed, he like, covered Leif and, uh, but died in the process. And his final words were an apology to Leif. I still don't know anything about her. I guess maybe I, I should have been talking to her more. That's weird there. I, mean, I don't really think it matters that much. I guess, yeah. So I guess this probably unlocks with dialogue. Oh well, let's uh, do Glenn now. Yo, Adar. You look awfully serious or... Uh, did something fun happen? Why would you say that? Can't you see how serious I am? I'm like actually down about something. Me. <laughs> I feel like our journey on the Sandra is coming to an end. Even still, I... Adol, uh, can you, like, come with me for a bit? Uh, that's, uh, that's the battle, or, like, the duel. You said you wanted us to help you train, so that's why we all came here, but... I guess he couldn't take a match off of anyone here. Well, given how much stronger we all are than him, I guess it makes sense. Tcha! I mean, of course I get that, but, uh... I wish you'd at least uh, go easy on me. Just enough to where I can think that I'll be, like, used to you in battle. My god. Well, your sword swings are getting pretty good. I guess that's uh, the result of you, like, practicing so much. But you need to be more, like, conscious of what the enemy's going for and, like, uh, like, taken by surprise. Leif. Yeah, and you never skip training, so you're probably, uh, like, got a lot of muscles, too. But all your attacks are very easy to read. Yeah, because of that, it's easy to read you, and uh, it's easy to take advantage of that. I mean, I get what you're saying, but uh, I'm, I've never been good at, like, fooling people. Well, uh, <laughs> I think that's just like you, Glenn. But battle's about strategy, so you need to learn that. Adol, can you uh, fight me one more time? There's something I want to try out. How'd you like that? I call it the Glen Straight Rush. <laughs> Phew, not bad. You managed to bring it to a draw against Adol. But still, uh, those movements you showed just now. There was no prep time. You just charged uh, straight forward. I see. Because you're an idiot, you don't think about anything and uh, just rush straight into it. That's your strength and your weakness, Glen. I see. So you uh, I kind of manifested that in the form of a skill. But Leif, I think we can uh, afford to praise him here, don't you? Well, it's not that I don't acknowledge him. In the past, whenever we've been worried about something, the one who always uh, like helped us uh, figure it out was Glenn. Uh, no one uh, like brings it up, but that guy is undoubtedly our leader. Leif, <laughs> I see. Oh, you guys, uh, you're all, all here. Lady Leela! <laughs> 
Please, uh, give me the power of mana. <laughs> what an incredibly revi uh, like, uh, refined uh, dogeza. I don't know if there's an English word, but it's the, it's the name of like the, the bow, or like prostate. Not prostate, that's the wrong word. The pro hold on. Yeah, prostrate, not prostate. You friggin' idiot. Uh, he, <laughs> he was even faster than that uh, thrust he just did. Uh, I wish this guy would die. <laughs> um, <laughs> reminds me of a ranter from uh, Grimgar. With his, uh, they call him the Dogizar King or on like, the later books. I don't think it shows up in the anime, but the books are so good for that. I've been reading them. Adol Kaja. Uh, I'm gonna go down my own road. So keep looking at me. As like the best friends of uh, the, the Karnak youths. There it is. That's everyone, I think. Yeah. The star of the Sandras. Hold on. That's the wrong one. So yeah. That is uh, everyone. That max thingy. But there's one more thing I want to do. There was one last, or at least I, I don't know. Is this the final dungeon? This, oh, I don't know. It might honestly just be the final dungeon, but. そんなことってあれも頼んでないけど。とが言うに決まってるぜ。いつも通り一緒に飯食って喧嘩してりゃいいんだよ。君って何も考えてないのに、たまに隠すのつくよね。まったく。こういうの大きすぎでしょ。<